Hello, and thank you for taking a few minutes today to learn about Biosonic's new software, Visual Aquatic. Today's presentation will run about 20 minutes. We'll talk about Visual Aquatic, the software. Uh, we'll have a review of two existing Biosonic software programs that will provide some good background on the new tools and uh, what we've done with Visual Aquatic. And then uh, we will have a look at the single echo detection track editing tools that are brand new within this software. What is Visual Aquatic? Visual Aquatic allows for the processing of hydroacoustic data uh, for both fish, marine life, and aquatic habitat. It's a post-processing software program that's compatible with data collected from either an MX or a DTX scientific echo sounder. Visual Aquatic is based upon and uses the editing architecture of Visual Habitat software. Visual Aquatic effectively replaces Visual Habitat. And it includes all of the existing functionality of Visual Habitat, as well as the fisheries processing software, Bizac AutoTrack. Visual Aquatic also introduces new easy to use fish track editing tools that will allow the user to create, delete, split, or append any fish track with just a few clicks of the mouse. Visual Aquatic will become the new standard platform for post-processing data collected with a Biosonic scientific echo sounder. Visual Aquatic is included with purchase. There is no license key necessary. It's available for download from the Biosonics website. And Visual Aquatic is an excellent tool for processing data collected with any Biosonics scientific echo sounder. A look at the table of contents for the user guide really provides a, a good assessment of what the software com is comprised of. Chapter one, step-by-step -step guide for analyzing a, a habitat data. And chapter two is a step-by-step -step guide for analyzing and reporting SED tracks. These are fish tracks. So we've got habitat data, we've got fisheries data combined in a single post-processing software program. Another way to look at it, we combined all the tools from Visual Habitat and Vizac AutoTrack into the new program, Visual Aquatic. Okay, let's review <clears throat> Biosonic's existing software programs. Visual Habitat provides an output of submerged vegetation height, as well as the percent coverage or density and it allows us to do bottom typing or substrate classification, outputting uh, different substrate types as one, two, three, et cetera. Uh, we also get very accurate bathymetry data and all the data are geo-referenced with a GPS. Visual Habitat provides some unique visualization tools that allow us to view our acoustic data in different aspects. We can view a list of the files. We can view the echogram as well as the map view. All three views simultaneously and all three are integrated. Here's a screenshot of Visual Habitat showing some uh, rooted vegetation growing from the lake bed. Here you can see the green line representing the canopy height of the plants. The brown line is the bottom and we're gonna output the difference between those two values as plant height. Here's a screenshot of Visual Habitat's substrate classification analysis configuration screen. Uh, we're showing this screenshot just to illustrate how simple the tool is to use. There's uh, very few decisions uh, we need to make in order to uh, do a bottom classification and uh, it's quite simple. The mapping tools in Visual Habitat provide uh, the user with 
unlimited ability to color code their maps using any color of the rainbow. We can create different palettes and we can use colors to highlight or accentuate uh, different um, data values in our maps. A few years ago, Biosonics introduced gridding tools for their mapping software, which allow us to interpolate between the transects and create these beautiful full color maps. Just a few images showing some different maps created with visual habitat. Here's some plant data, some bathymetry data. So in addition to the functionality from visual habitat, within visual aquatic, we are incorporating the processing tools currently available in Vizac AutoTrack. This is Biosonic's fisheries uh, processing software, allows the user to create lists of fish, uh, fish tracks showing the acoustic size, the location. Uh, if we're in a fixed location, when we collect our data, we, uh, we can also get a measure of the speed and direction of travel of every uh, target detected. This is an automated real-time program that allows the user to actually process their data while they're collecting it with no effort. Uh, Vizac AutoTrack is compatible with uh, downlooking mobile survey data, side-looking uh, data collected in a fixed position, as well as uplooking uh, data collected from a seafloor observatory. If we um, take a look at the, the, uh, the concept of a fish track, really all this means is a, a, a series of consecutive echo signals that are connected together. And so what the software is able to do is, is take a, a, a detailed look at the characteristics of each echo and then connect those with similar properties uh, based upon the user's settings. Again, as we, uh, when we create a fish track or a target track, if we're in a fixed location, we do get uh, not only the acoustic size, but also the speed and direction of travel. Here's a screenshot showing the individual echoes um, on, in the echogram view connected together to form a track. So the Biosonics echo sounders are capable of pinging very fast, up to 40 times per second. And so we're able to get multiple reflections or echoes from a single track as it passes through the acoustic beam. This is the configuration screen of uh, Vizac AutoTrack, um, shown here to illustrate how adaptable this software is for different uh, applications. So we can be very selective about the characteristics of each echo. We can look for echoes of a certain size or quality or location. And then uh, basically we're tuning the software for different targets of interest, whether it's a fish, a jellyfish, um, plants or drifting vegetation in the water column um, or other targets. A very typical application for, for auto track software is counting fish. In this case, we're uh, illustrating a dashboard. Uh, one of our clients who use the, um, the echo sounder system and the auto track software <clears throat> to report on the returning adult salmon traveling upriver. So uh, with auto track, the, the data uh, is collected and processed automatically, and we're able to display it in a dashboard showing daily fish counts, cumulative fish counts, and direction of travel, all on this um, online dashboard. So the uh, fisheries managers are able to access their data uh, in, in real time, and there's no data processing required. <clears throat> For a more detailed explanation of uh, either the, the habitat functions, uh, processing functions in visual habitat or auto track, uh, please visit our online uh, YouTube page. 
and um, all these instructional videos are readily accessible. Okay, so again, Visual Aquatic combines the functionality of Visual Habitat and AutoTrack. In addition to combining the, the two software, we have also introduced new track editing tools. Uh, we've, we, we're introducing the term SED tracks, SED standing for single echo detection. So you'll see this now in the uh, user guide, uh, this term SED, as well as in the software itself. Um, all of the uh, configuration screens, the exporting and reporting tools are identical to um, the existing Vizac AutoTrack software. But what is new is how to access these tools, as well as the track editing functions. Why is track editing important? Well, until now, um, AutoTrack would create track lists, but those track lists were fixed. We couldn't adjust them, edit them. We had to accept the results that were created automatically. The only way to change the track list would be to reconfigure the analysis and rerun it, and then hope that the track list was more uh, in line with what we desire. Here's a screenshot of AutoTrack showing a track list on the right and all of the echoes and tracks that have been detected. So you can see in green, the green pixels uh, on the echogram, those represent uh, processed fish tracks. The single uh, Red pixels are echoes that were accepted, but uh, were not uh, sufficient to form a track based on our configuration settings. And so you'll see that AutoTrack does a, quite a good job of tracking most of the targets, but there may be a few where we want to add tracks because we can visually uh, interpret this and, and see that that is indeed uh, most likely a fish target. So now uh, with the introduction of track editing tools, we're, we're increasing the value of visual aquatic software and the overall uh, package, uh, including the, the Biosonics Echo Sounder and the processing software. Allow this, uh, these track editing tools allow um, the user to have more confidence in, in the accuracy of their results. It also puts visual aquatic more in line with some of the uh, relatively high cost third party software solutions that are out there. Um, so we're really uh, increasing the value for the Biosonics Echo Sounder user. <clears throat> to have a look at the new tools for track editing, uh, it's quite simple. Um, up in the left-hand side, we're going to, first step is to bring files into the software. We use, do that using the plus, uh, button up in the upper left, bring in a file. And in this case, we're gonna be working with a, a processed file uh, with a suffix RTPX. And then that um, indicates that this, this acoustic file has uh, already introduced tracks into it. So we bring in the file, we double click, and that's gonna open the echogram view and see all the green fish tracks. <clears throat> to uh, activate the tracks, we use the button with the brown squiggly line. Um, that's going to uh, allow us to toggle between the raw data and the tracks. We'll see, the user will see different uh, color pixels. Green, again, indicating a completed track. Uh, red will be echoes that were accepted and detected, but not formed into a track. The uh, rust color, uh, purplish red, uh, re that indicates tracks where um, we have exceeded the maximum number of pings or echo returns. <clears throat> to access the editing tools, we simply uh, choose from the drop down window next to the pencil and select our SED track editing bright red pencil. 
So now with our red pencil, we are able to uh, draw a polygon around tracks of interest and make these changes using the uh, insert key to add tracks or the delete key to remove tracks. So let's have a quick look at the software. We'll open Visual Aquatic <clears throat> and just have a brief look at these track editing tools. Here we have our RTPX file um, already loaded. I'll double click, open the echogram view. Let's zoom in a bit. This is uh, freshwater data collected from a deep lake. Here we have our activated fish tracks and echo detections illustrated with the different colored pixels. We can use the pan tool to scroll along. And let's look for some area where we uh, might want to do some editing. Down here, near the bottom, I can see a series of echoes. The software AutoTrack, in this case, did not create fish tracks from these echoes. Now, if I should decide that I do indeed want this to become a track, it's as simple as choosing my pencil tool, highlighting the tracks, and pressing the Insert key to create a track. Similarly, uh, if for example, this track, if, if I decided that I, this is actually two tracks, I could highlight it, delete it, and then redraw individual tracks. So super easy to use. We just use our red pencil for track editing. We can make these changes. Um, and spend as you know as much or as little time as we want to improve the accuracy of our results, be more confident before we hit that export button. And um, yeah, just really uh, some powerful uh, fisheries processing functionality that we're introducing with with visual aquatic. So with that, that will conclude our webinar for the day. If you have any questions at all, you can reach me at my email address, eric at subc2020.com. Give us a call, 206-782-2211. Be more than happy to answer your questions. Thanks very much for having a look at Visual Aquatic.